Bored in quarantine at home? Want an update on Jaden Sancho to Manchester United? He came to the right place. Let's run through all the latest developments on Sancho to United, including Sancho discussing Rashford being his idol. That's an old video, but we've run through it today. Rashford talking about Sancho and how he wants to link up with him. The latest articles from The Athletic and all the latest reports on Sancho to United and Juan Mata talking about him as well. Lots to talk about. Make sure you subscribe down below if you are new. Let's talk about Sancho. What have the papers been saying? The latest update comes from Laurie Whitwell and The Athletic. Now, last week, if you haven't seen it, I'll show you it after. But Marcus Rashford was on Bleacher Report on Instagram and he was asked about Jaden Sancho and said there how much he would like to play with him. Now, Laurie Whitwell in The Athletic says that that feeling is mutual, that Sancho would love to play with Rashford and that because he's got friends and family back in Manchester from where he was when he was a City player, that United is a preferred place for him. And Laurie Whitwell says that Liverpool and Chelsea wouldn't be willing to pay the 120, 30 million euros that Dortmund would want to sign Sancho. So another tick for United in that respect. All the reports really are coming about Sancho to United rather than Chelsea or Real Madrid or Barcelona or Liverpool. It's United leading the way in the press. And as I said, if you haven't seen that video, Rashford was on Bleacher Report and was asked about Sancho. This is what he had to say. One, two, zero. Is a... How do you think your link-up play will be with Sancho and Martial? Hey, does Red Devil might be the most of the week Um No, I think it, it obviously will be good. Um, Sancho's a, a great player and he's sort of... You know, it's like the new generation player and it's, it's definitely exciting um, to watch him become the player that he's becoming. So, um, you know, credit to him. Hopefully we can we can all play together. That'll be, that'll be good. Yeah. What do you like about his game? What, what makes him stand out? He's just, he just plays off the cuff. You know, he's, he's creative, he's, imagin he's imaginative. And I think they're the things that in this generation, that's what you need to be to be welcome. I think it's clear that Rashford would love to play with Sancho. Two young players players who are going to be part of England's senior setup probably for the next decade. Maybe they're going to be club teammates for the next decade as well. Rashford would clearly like that to happen and so would every United fan. But back to the article there from Laurie Whitwell at The Athletic. A lot of good information in that article about Dortmund's financial situation, quotes from their CEO, plenty more insight and info on the situation with Dortmund and Sancho. So make sure you read it. If you haven't got an Athletic account, you can get a seven-day free trial with United People's TV and you can get 50% off an annual subscription. When it comes to updates on Sancho, The Athletic will have it first more often than not. So make sure you use that. You're in quarantine. It's free. You get a seven-day free trial. So make sure you go and read that article from Laurie Whitwell on Sancho. But as you would expect with Sancho, it's going to turn into a transfer saga with twists and turns and contrasting reports and... That's no different here. On the one hand, you've got Sancho being heavily linked with a move back to Manchester and to United. And it feels like that's probably coming from more a family and a friend perspective. But on the other hand, you've got this report from the Times, for example, saying that Real Madrid and Barcelona are where Sancho's advisors are suggesting that he moves next. So you've got two different camps there, one with friends and family, one with advisors and agents. Maybe they're going to be advising Sancho to do two different things. So it all goes down to where you think the pool is stronger for Sancho. And maybe Champions League football isn't the most important thing at all, which is what I've thought all along. It's whose opinion Sancho values the most and the people around him that he listens to the most. Because if it's friends and family, it looks like Manchester is where he's going to be moving. And it certainly won't be back to City, the club that let him go to Dortmund in the first place. And that's why I think I hold Rashford in really, really high regard in this situation, because I think Sancho holds Rashford in really high regard. I think Rashford's going to be massively influential if he does join United. Take a look at this video, for example. It's clear that Rashford holds Sancho in high regard, but the feeling is definitely mutual. Look at the two players that Sancho highlights, the two young generational players that he thinks are sort of players that he can look up towards. What I'm doing is not enough. There's like the likes of Mbappe doing crazy things in PSG and they're the kind of the people I need to compete with because obviously I'm so young and he's so young as well. So that always pushes me um, when I see Mbappe, Marcus Rashford doing well and because I know they're probably looking at me and 
seeing what I'm doing and it's probably pushing them. Sancho clearly feels that Rashford's achievements are something that can help him improve as a player, something that he can aim towards. And no doubt that Rashford and probably Mbappe as well have been looking at what Sancho has been doing at Dortmund and been extremely impressed. So the feeling is definitely mutual between the pair. And Rashford hasn't been the only United player who's been talking about Sancho. This is what Mata had to say when he was on an Instagram and he answered a question. Uh, should we sign Jadon Sancho? <laughs> um, what do you want me to say? We all know that he's a great player and he's having a fantastic season at, at Borussia. But you know it's not my responsibility to speak about those things. Of course, I like him as a player, uh, but I cannot reply to that. Matter taking the diplomatic politician's answer there, as you would expect, but everybody would want Sancho to join United. There's not going to be a United fan that will look at Sancho and think, we don't need that in our team. He won't improve our team. Sancho could be dropped into pretty much any Premier League team and take them up a level. He's a generational talent, somebody who is going to be one of the top five players in the world in the future, and he's already done such a brilliant job. And I, I, I've said this before, but the fact that he left England, left his family and his friends, went to Germany, went to the Bundesliga, went to Dortmund, it was a tough situation, but he has shone. And rarely do young English talents go abroad at such a young age. They would do it at the tail end of their career. But Sancho has absolutely nailed it, forced his way into an England team which is littered with talent. And that's because of his own great work. But will he join United? Obviously, all United fans, as I said, will want to sign him. And if you look at the, the list of the credible journalists that have linked Sancho to United, it's a long, long list. You've got Fabrizio Romano there, you've got Laurie Whitwell, Paul Hurst, James Ducker, Raphael Hernigstein, Simon Stone, David Ornstein. All the top credible journalists have all separately done reports and articles on Sancho and United. Chelsea... They might want him, but they've spent money on Ziyech, so maybe they're going to be okay on the right wing position. Would Liverpool want him? Yes, but would Liverpool be able to afford him without selling anybody? I don't know. United seems the most logical option inside the Premier League. Maybe the times are right. Maybe that his advisors are going to say that he should be joining Real Madrid or Barcelona. Clearly, everybody's going to want to sign Jadon Sancho, and this one will go on. I hope that it does end up with Sancho linking up with Rashford at Old Trafford. It would be amazing. And it, for me, Sancho would feel like the right sort of marquee signing. I mean, come on, our transfer policy has been gashed for so long. But in the last 18 months, we seem to be getting it right and signing players for the right reasons. Drop Sancho in that team that's got Maguire in, Wan-Bissaka, Bruno Fernandes. You can see the team being built together and Sancho, for me, could be a critical and key part. Take Lingard out of it, put Sancho into it, United's team and quality level goes shooting through the roof. But how excited are you about the prospect of Sancho to United? Do you think it's going to happen? As I've said in the latest developments here, you've got Sancho talking about Rashford, you've got Rashford talking about Sancho, you've got Mata talking about Sancho. The Athletics update, as I said, make sure you follow the link in the description. A seven-day free trial and 50% off. But Sancho to United is going to be the main story throughout this quarantine. I'll bring you all the latest updates whenever they happen, so make sure you subscribe down below. Until next time, take it easy.